Todd Mariana, Deeker's Mastering, uh, opcode 66 from the Trolls board. Uh, I'm going to go over another mod that I've done for Charlotte here, and uh, it involves the read switch inside of the carriage arm. So let's uh, take a look. So this right here is the carriage arm. Uh, other people call it the sled, but uh, in the Neumann dock, this is the carriage arm. And there are a couple of screws uh, that hold this little cover on. So I've already removed my screws here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and usually better at that with my right hand than my left. And if you see inside here, there's the reed switch. And what it does is it's a two position switch. So right now, uh, because there are contacts that are normally closed, that is actually what will uh, allow you to have your lead in groove. So I just put this to about the seven inch because I have my box set to seven inch and you see I'm getting a time marker. If in fact that reed switch gets a little bent out of shape, what's normally closed will actually be open. And uh, if that stays open, then your time function at the your lead in at the beginning of uh, you know your cut, dependent on what diameter you have selected, as well as uh, the impulse for the locked groove and the cutter head lift, those don't work. Um, the, the flow of electricity actually goes through this reed switch and in fact I can show you it is right here so on this wiring diagram right over here you can see it goes through the PS box and then it goes through this little reed switch right here and if these don't stay closed then your end groove, your lead in don't work. And I had this problem recently. And so it really drove me nuts that I found that there's a, there's a read it switch in, inside of the carriage arm. Mostly because they replaced a lot of those read switches with micro switches. There used to be some inside of the suspension box too, but uh, Neumann replaced them in the 74 box and even earlier ones with uh, micro switches. But there used to be reed switches in there, and <clears throat> it was causing problems, apparently. You know, and on that end of things, it was causing problems in a way that was destroying cutter heads. Uh, in my case, it was just a, an annoyance that, you know, it took me a long time to track that down. Also, uh, you know, this little lever here, when you go and push this forward, what allows... The switching from start to stop when that happens you'll notice if I do this right now oops wrong way okay how it knows to do a full stop and a cutter head immediate cutter head release is because this micro excuse me read switch makes the connection the other way so when it's pushed forward that's an alt stop and then when it comes back to rest it should have the connection that allows the lead in and, and the end groove now you know, like I said, in the case of mine, <clears throat> it got a little bent out of shape and it was not no longer making that normally closed connection. Uh, also, too, I have adjusted my the tension on the uh, lead screw and uh, that causes this little lever to stop at a different point. And sometimes I would adjust the screw and it seemed like it was really locking in great the half nut onto the lead screw but then it wouldn't trigger the stop because of the switch and I'd have to go and reshape the switch and stuff so I mean it's just a bunch of monkeying around for no reason so what I've done is I've 3D designed and printed a bracket that will replace this entire assembly uses the same two screws uh, and, and literally, not only the screw holes, but literally the same two screws, uh, and it will holds a micro switch in place that uh, replaces the functionality of this read switch. The trick of it was is that <clears throat> there's very little uh, clearance right here. You don't have a lot of space to work with, so the ideal placement would be forward of this leather lever, but I couldn't do that. So 
I've printed it so that the switch is held to the side, right, right about here. So when this lever comes forward, it just trips the switch. And then when it comes back, it's not in any way being restricted. Uh, it's backwards movement is, is natural because there is nothing pulling it back. Something pushes it forward, but then essentially gravity just pulls it back. So I had to make sure that I wasn't putting any, uh, any pressure on that lever such that it would be held in place by the micro switch. So I'm going to put the micro switch assembly on and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, you can see now that I've removed the reed switch assembly from the carriage arm. Uh, I would like to point out right now that this is how you can determine what kind of half nut you have. You see down there, I have a circular collar. Uh, it's sort of that brass piece at the bottom. I'm gonna now push my lever to the back position, right? So the half nut is fully up. You can actually see it peeking out of, of that collar right there. Um, mine almost has like a bluish color to it. It's interesting. Uh, that is my original Neumann half nut. And as you can see, mine is in fact circular. So I've got the screwdriver, the original screws, uh, this micro switch, which is a proper voltage and appearage rating. And this guy right here, right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the bracket that I designed and 3D printed. So essentially what happens is it goes in right here and it holds the micro switch in place and when that lever is forward, the micro switch is tripped. So I'm gonna show it to you installed. I've now installed my bracket and you can see that the uh, original screws are being used. I just uh, created these screw posts there for them and um, the micro switch is held in place to the side of the lever and the cover does actually fit back on with no no problems, no clearance issues. This is printed with six shells of plastic so it's extremely rigid, extremely hard. Um, you know, it just moved a little bit because I didn't screw it fully down because I need to solder the switch. I just wanted to get it in there uh, enough to demonstrate. But you can see now, and you can hear the click. And it's nice because you can actually hear the click. I know that that is happening. Sometimes, you know, like I said, that switch got bent out of shape. The stop wouldn't work, so I'd be working on a cut and I'd do this and my head wouldn't pop. You have this moment of what the fuck. <laughs> now you hear a satisfying click. You know if you hear that click, you know, you're good. So this is ready to be soldered into place and uh, everything closed back up. So I have now wired the switch and I've installed the bracket. And uh, as you see the, the pitch motor is running. So what we're going to do is the all stop, and that works great. Also too, we're going to demonstrate that at 7 inch, which we'll pull it into right here, put it on fast, it's going to do its lead-in groove. So both states of that micro switch are working just fine. Everything is now installed and uh, we are going to demonstrate this one last time. So we got the start going. In effect, I'm going to drop my head, which you can only do when the pitch motor is running. Otherwise, the head will pop up. Let me demonstrate. If you hit stop, it does take a second because the delay circuit is sort of clicking in. Uh, it doesn't actually click in the way it does when it's in operation, but that demonstrates the fact that there is potentially a delay in the pop-up and that's for making the uh, you know locked groove at the end we want to make sure that it has a rotation in a quarter so there's a delay circuit however if you are running with the head down uh, well first of all right now you hear that that keeps me from putting the head down if the pitch motor isn't running so I'm gonna do that drop the head and demonstrate that this right here is a full stop. 
and it's an immediate full stop. So everything's working great with the, the new mod. Also too, by the way, uh, with the head down here, pitch motor running, you can see my other mod is working great. We have no voltage going across uh, the, the, um, the heating wire. So unless I'm running the vacuum, the Neumann carriage arm switch bracket mod from Deep Grooves Mastering. Thank you. 